Oh, yeah. Well, we'll I had we'll, my signal over where I was at, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I got four bars up here, and there's no reason why we shouldn't have any signal. Because um, anyone can see, we are way at the top of a freaking way up on a mountain. So, first off, there's an address posted on this video. Um, and uh, that's for those of you that are sending your... Uh, um, right in your families at Bravo Base first. I want you guys to know those of you that are in contact with your families and you're having mail and stuff sent to you um, Send it over send it send it over to the address posted there uh, let, Let's let's just um, we're gonna make sure that you have mail now. Here's what here's how this is gonna happen And if you're just getting caught up uh, There's a crooked ass uh, postal inspector who's really good friends with some no-name cat on uh, and, and they're all bragging about it, too uh, and they went and they shut down the mail for Veterans on Patrol Bravo Base. Now, the Alpha Company mail runs through the Veterans on Patrol Bravo Base, just so you know. And, uh, and always has. Uh, like, all of our mail will go through some centralized location. Used to be HMS, okay, but then we got a professional uh, mailing mailbox and an area we could secure. And then the homeless would be able to make sure that all of their mail would go to one destination and wouldn't get lost. We haven't had any problem. But uh, some inspector, U.S. Postal Inspector, just took it upon themselves to go in and shut down our mail with no investigation. Now, we don't accept money. We video and record everything that's coming in and we, we as much as possible, and we forward it all. We got plenty of live videos. Uh, we've been doing this for a long time. They hit us at the close of business day, all right? I'm doing this, and this is flat out this, and I really don't give a shit. If you guys want to keep this operation going, if you want to keep us out here in the field, well, you've got uh, until I get down from this mountain on Sunday. Because if God doesn't remove this obstruction and open up that mail for those homeless at Bravo Base and our volunteers out here pounding sand in the desert, okay, I don't need nothing up here. You don't need nothing up here. We don't need nothing from mail, do we? I mean, no. we're pretty much, we're good, guys. We don't need nothing. We're, we're, and, and I'm not coming down off the mountain because we've already said they've had it for three days and now we're taking it for three days. So this isn't going to drag me off the mountain. This is just the devil's little trick. But I'm going to tell you something. I just told God, and, you know, I'm his redheaded stepson. You know, I'm a, I, uh, I, I am, he knows me and he knows my heart. But uh, <laughs> I will not, when I come down off this mountain, I will take my gear and I will go. I will literally go. If some chicken shit cowards are going to be able to hurt thousands of homeless in Tucson, hundreds of volunteers who come through, and, and just like all of our families who, you know, if they're able to utilize inside government fucking employees to go and shut down. Like our ministry hasn't been attacked or shut down in, by the government since way back when. They've never been able to shut us down. They've only been able to close camps. Uh, but these were camps where homeless were already living, and we went to live with them so they would have more time, and we could find a way to try to get them out and get the population of homelessness in certain towns out. So we take huge risks to go live with them. And we can only hold those camps for so long before eventually we have to pull out. This is completely different. Government has decided to institute regulation against a non, uh, we're not a nonprofit, a non nonprofit, understand that. A self sacrificing organization who's operated under the Good Samaritan law for three years, and all we've done, our family, is paid. We've paid for everything in material support that has not come. We paid for everything in material support, and we haven't just paid financially. We can, that's all proven with our financial records. You can look at it. We're not wealthy by any means. We'd be extremely wealthy if we didn't have to finance all this, but the only way to keep the government out was to spend our own money and volunteer our own time and not take nothing for us. If any material possession comes in, we forward it to everyone else. I'm going to tell you something. Uh, uh, God's going to have to handle this one. They hit you on the close of business day, all right? I'm not, I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I come down on this mountain, this obstruction isn't done, this veers me on a path. And then what I'm going to spend my time doing is hunting and tracking and mailing and phone calling and just fucking with every single individual on that group that's in my state. So the hundreds that aren't in Arizona that are making all these calls and trying to obstruct what's going on down here, you're okay. We'll let Boots Online do, do with you. But those of you who just went and shut down the mail for the homeless in the city of Tucson because you don't like Lewis Arthur, you're a chicken shit. Where we can get any chronic homeless veterans because we get them their medical cards so they can smoke cannabis instead of taking pills and do the legal drugs. We can get them 
them, they can check in a six pack of beer, as long as they don't get drunk and stupid. And we provide free uh, uh, acupuncture. There's wolfers that go out there. A neurologist will provide hyperbaric oxygen therapy if it's needed. You know, the, the, these are hundreds of people who've come and helped build this camp and establish this camp. And now all of a sudden, on the close of business on Friday, you have a government employee. All right. All right, so if you're catching up, once again, uh, they decided that they were going to use a good friend in their government and the Postal Service to go and shut down our mail uh, for no reason. They had no, they had no, they had no validity to any complaint. Everything we've done is transparent, video, documented, and posted. But um, they didn't just shut down. I mean, shutting down Alpha Supply Line isn't nothing. I posted a address. Uh, and this is the homeless are going to have to use this address temporarily until we get this figured out. Because I want people that are still waiting to get their apartment applications and their freaking IDs and the things they need to get off the damn streets. I want them to still be able to go into the house. Because what these assholes did is just set back the recovery, the sobriety, and so many other things for these individuals who are out here living in this desert as homeless people in these hot streets. Living out here. Okay? We're trying to give them a choice to get out of here so they can go into an apartment. And because they're too chicken shit to come down and face me, they use their government contacts to violate our constitutional rights, our First Amendment rights. This better be solved before I get down off this mountain Sunday. Because at that point, I'm handing this entire cartel thing over to people they are going to go. And I'm going and I'm going on another path. And I'm coming to visit those individuals who just hurt a bunch of mentally ill people who served our country with post-traumatic stress disorder, traumatic brain injury. I've got victims of military sexual trauma. You sons of bitches. Because you can't come down and prove that we're lying. You use your government friends, your, your high government postal, that shit you're bragging about, that's okay. That guy ain't going to have a job much longer. I'll stand in front of his fucking house all day and protest with a bullhorn. I will. I'm going to let everyone in my city know who this chicken shit was who went down and shut the mail because 200-something people were complaining on Facebook when you have 60,000-something people across the world sending packages and helping everyone. That's how much they want this to stop. That's how bad they don't want us out here. And what they got to do is set precedent and say, hey, we can regulate you guys. We can regulate you, so we're going to try to regulate you through mail. We don't accept government regulation. Yeah. Well, I don't matter. I think everyone, at that point, everyone report the group for harassment. There's 60,000 of you. So, I mean, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I think they need to be kept busy. So we want our boots online at this point. Keep them busy. Their personal page is busy. Notify their families what pieces of shits they are. Send them links and pictures and screenshots of them bragging about taking the mail away from homeless veterans and homeless civilians and mentally ill people in Tucson. Just to get at a group that was providing a free service, busting ass every day, actually making a difference and fighting and pushing back against the cartels. If you're against what we're doing, no one's making money. There's no fraud whatsoever. If there was, our family's ministry would have been shut down long ago. You think you're the first time people's complained? But now all of a sudden, you have someone that's in the Postal Service, some government employee that's going to try to set precedents where no other government employee could. Now he's going to take it upon himself to go down and shut down the mail. And you think we give a shit that you shut down Alpha's mail? My wife and I will pay for everything these guys need. We don't care. We're going to make sure they can do their job. It's the fact that you're chicken shit and you shut down the mail from the homeless because you're cowards and won't come down. You can't prove we're lying. So you're desperate and you want to stop us. So look, if you're okay with little kids being tied to trees and raped, if you're okay with women being raped, if you're okay with slavery and you decided you were going to participate in this and that you were going to attack the homeless veterans to get at Lewis Arthur wasn't about Lewis Arthur. God either is going to show, God's going to show you before I get down this mountain. It was either about Lewis Arthur or it was about him. Because if this shit isn't solved and we're not able to do our job, Lewis Arthur is grabbing his pack and walking away. Period. You're not going to use me as a target to hurt and, and hurt hundreds of people who need fucking help. Don't. Because I'm telling you, I will fucking hurt you. I will literally pick up and unlock my demon and I will fuck you up. 
because you're hurting innocent people because you're too chicken shit to come face a real man. And all you fucking cowards out there is mad because I won't let you come down with your long rifles, your chicken shit, your cowards. You don't even know to use how to use them. We don't want you down here. We don't want your politics down here. So you can join with these little groups and bitch about Bunny Ranch and how you guys got Lavoie killed and everything else. I don't care. Not my problem. But you're going to become famous too. Because now you want to get in bed with the government to stop us from what we're doing when we do everything we can and we don't even accept the government's damn help. Tell the government to stay away from us. All right? We only let God control this ministry. We only let God decide what path we're going to be going. Not government, not, not, not even the people who donate. No, boots on the ground are making the decisions out here. I'm not going to do no videos after this until I'm probably down on the mountain. If you want to see what's going on and see proof of what's going on, Dark Sky Watcher's here and he can record everything. All right? But I'm not dealing with it. I'm going to meditate as much as possible. I'm going to put faith in my God, but you've got a righteous anger right now. And I'm going to tell you something. Those people that just hurt those homeless under our watch, that, you know, hey, to me, that, that's, that's just as evil as freaking tying a kid to a tree and raping them, you sick sons of bitches. These people have mental illnesses. They have hope. They have a pathway to housing, a pathway to recovery, and you sorry sick son of bitches just cut them off from that hope because the government requires paperwork for them to get their services. They require paperwork for them to get their food stamps, paperwork for them to get their ID to prove who they are, paperwork for them to get their, their DD-214s so they can get enrolled in services and get benefits for the first time in their entire lives. But you just want to cut all that out because you're too much of a coward to come down and face me. You made it about me. When all I've done was try to make it about God and tell everybody it's not Lewis Arthur, it's the teams, it's everyone else around us. Right now it's the children. But now you've effectively made it about me. You've used the government to violate our First Amendment rights. You went in and shut down the mail of a ministry who's provided over $2 million in free community services for the past three years to our state. And that's not counting what we did in Texas, Georgia, Florida, and all the way down to Puerto Rico. We've been established. We've been doing this. How in the hell does a group with 230-something people, 300... There we go. Yeah, she's, she's bragging. She's taking care of everything. So anyways, they hit us on a closer Friday on business day. What I'm asking everybody to do, my boots online. Um, and, I, you know, and uh, Heather, hey, Briggs, if you see this, I need you to get your people on this too. Q and non, anonymous to everybody. I want you to personally send me every member that's on that uh, uh, CO, Citizens Against Veterans on Patrol page. That's it. I want their profiles. Text them to me. Start texting me on all now. I'm going to have nothing but time on my hands. I'm calling every one of their bosses. I'm calling every one of their fucking family members. And I'm going to tell them what chicken shits they are and what they just did to the homeless in Tucson. Yeah, and I'm going to call their employees, every one of them. I've got nothing but time on my hand. You better pray to God he gets this fixed before I come down on this mountain. Because you got till Sunday morning. Sunday morning, when we go down off this mountain and we've completed our three-day mission... It's on.